Hi everyone, I'm Steve, here with Jesse Townsend, our uh, training director at Parkway Athletic Club in Reno, Nevada. And we're going to talk about, Jesse's going to start TRT. We've been talking for a while. I'm blown away at what you got from your test results. You're 37, right? Yeah, I'm 37. All right, so first, and you're strong, you're fit, and so... You went and got your testosterone checked. Tell me what it was. Yeah, so my testosterone, when when had it checked just, you know, a week ago, uh, 172, man. That's that's what they docked me at. 172, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. For a 37-year-old. And do you know what your free testosterone was? No, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think in this one, Steve, I don't think this was a part of the one that he ordered for this, but I need to go back and do some more lab and kind of, they've already asked me to follow up with some more things. Did Royal Medical order the lab? Yeah, Royal did. Okay. That's a clinic that we use everybody. So um, if you want to go find out that's one clinic you can contact you will get a very decent discount with uh, royal medical use the promo code vitality one at uh checkout or even better call dane and talk to him he'll get you all set up yeah. and there's a link in the um description and i think his phone number is there and ask for dane and that's what you did right jesse that's exactly what i did yeah easy easy process man talk to him got on the phone pretty quick he asked me a couple questions, you know, and, and got it rolling. It was not an issue. Yeah, and, and, and you get like uh, $45 off um, the your second through like your fifth or sixth month. So it's a really good deal, even without right. the discount. You'll get that discount if you use the promo code Vitality1 and just tell that to uh, Dane. And anyway, but you might want to also check with other clinics. And we're doing this video because you guys have probably heard me do a lot of videos with Brian. You know, if you've been watching the channel, I'm on TRT, but this just shocked me. And <laughs> they're telling me at Royal Medical that they have 20 year olds coming in with testosterone under 75. And that's just crazy. So what it was one thing that tipped you off on what what made you think that your testosterone might be low? Yeah, you know, simple, right? So I've been doing this stuff long time, lifting, eating healthy. You know, I do this not just as, you know, for myself, but it's my lifestyle, it's my career, and, and you know, it's my whole thing. So, you know, my, my body fat, you know, my belly kept getting bigger. You know, and I'm like, gosh, I'm, I'm, I know as good as anybody that you can, you know, put me up against, and especially in this, you know, exercise and, and health stuff, what to do, you know, do I, do I do high intensity cardio? Do I blend that in with my workouts? Do I, you know, do more time under tension with less stress and, you know, uh, you know, not go the other way, but do longer workouts, but shorter, you know, more precise workouts. So I'm not over, over straining my body and adding, you know, cortisol and different things to the effect that can make you fatter. So yeah, and food, you know, I started dialing food in, you know, I'm like, making myself not have, you know, things I enjoy and, and, you know, really doing, you know, the whole thing. And, and I've, and I've been strict with this stuff for a long time, but I even tightened it up more and my belly got fatter and I'm like, man, this is a shame. Right. I'm like, at first I'm thinking genetics, you know, my dad got a little bit heavier as he approached his forties, you know, we're kind of like a, on that side of the family. And I did my 23 and me, I kind of know my gene history, you know, some things that were kind of, you know, supposed to be predisposition for. So I made all kinds of excuses to, to reason with it. Um, and then finally, after we had spent time together, you know, and, and I hadn't, you know, considered this before, but I thought, well, shoot, man, maybe it's my most probably regulating hormone as a, as a, a man, you know, that I can have. Maybe it's my testosterone. I never thought it would be low, though. Neither did you. I thought, if anything, as much muscle as I have, I mean, I'm sitting there moving around, you know, hundreds of pounds if I want to easily. You know, I don't have a, a definitely nothing in my body other than that that would tell me that it was low. But that's what it was. Well, you know, there's so many things. And I, I want to encourage you guys. This is not something that you just want to jump into. But when your testosterone is low and you bring it up into an ideal range, 
it just makes sense to me. Again, we're not doctors, but I've been doing this for almost 10 years, uh, the TRT, that you're going to get healthier in every aspect. Why? Because your body composition is going to change. So what's going to happen is you're going to put some lean tissue on. You, you got to work out and you got to get your protein up and you got to lift weights. And when you do that, you're going to put lean tissue on. When you go on TRT, you're going to lose body fat. What does that mean? Well, just think about, think about it, Jesse, what an improved body composition does. That's going to prevent, that can prevent diabetes, uh, fatty liver, all the things that come with obesity because you're yeah. improving your body composition. That's why it's so healthy. But in this age, I mean, there's so many things and it, I start thinking, okay, what was it in you that caused low, t was it the water, the air, the, were you eating seed oils? Um, what was it? Are you drinking out of plat you know, warm plastic bottles? Uh, xenoestrogens. It could be so many different things. So I would say you first want to try to figure out what that is, because you don't want to be doing injections of testosterone for the rest of your life right. in your 20s, because now guess what? You get to do testosterone injections for the rest of your life. Yeah. And it, it's the smart thing to do for your overall health. But that's what you're getting ready to do, right? Right. Yeah, I think like you're saying, overall goal with stuff like this, if it can be, is, you know, get get to the root cause, right, of, of maybe what it was, or, or at least as close as you can get nowadays. But, you know, if we're honest, how the hell are we going to really identify? I mean, air, with, with air quality and, you know, process stuff and all the stuff you kind of just ran over, you know, it's going to be super hard, right, to, to narrow it down, you know. Um, but, yeah, try to stay away from all of that. And also probably you use, like I will do, um, you know, supplements and things that are going to help balance out, you know, my, my levels as well. You know, I think you have to adapt to not, there's never just one cure to this whole health and fitness thing. You know, um, again, you want like the, the big things to be there, like TRT for me, I think is going to be a major, major thing. I, you know, I see myself, you know, probably doing a lot of, of body fat reducing, you know, feel better, less brain fog, sleep better, have more energy throughout the day and the list kind of keeps running. But yeah, my goal would be like you're saying to naturally, you know, adapt to some of this stuff, get rid of some bad habits if there are more of them and kind of clean it up more and, and see if I can get my natural test to, you know, play along the right way and keep it up there without doing it forever. That my, my goal would not be to do it forever. Um, that would be my goal. Yeah. And it's that, you know, you guys want to make sure your vitamin D is proper at the right range, your zinc, your magnesium, you know, the minerals and stuff like that. You got to get all the processed foods out of your diet. But once you start, you're, you're probably on it. Now, when I start now, you got to talk to the doctor. And if you go with Royal Medical, they'll do a consultation with you. Talk to them. I don't like the... I don't take aromatase inhibitors, which is an estrogen blocker. I don't take that. I want my body to respond as naturally as possible. I take a micro dose in the morning, a, a very small dose in the morning, because testosterone is highest in the morning, then it fades. I don't get any spikes by doing that. And I do it yeah. seven days with an insulin needle. Um, so they're going to want to... Uh, you know, at least two shots a week. I prefer more, like I said, but everyone's different and you've got to listen to the doctor and ask questions. Uh, yeah. probably be a nurse practitioner at Royal and you got to get it right. Um, but I don't do, um, aromatase inhibitors. I, I'm not blocking estrogen. I want my body to respond as naturally as possible without messing with it. And it works great for me. I get my blood work all the time. I'm looking at my hematocrit, my hemoglobin, uh, because sometimes the blood will thicken. Um, I'm, and, and so I give blood every eight weeks, but oops, iron dropped a little low. So now yeah. I can 
modify my diet and, you know, maybe take a supplement, which I'm not a big fan of iron supplements, but it's something that I started doing, seeing how my ferritin was in the toilet. So you just have to monitor this stuff and make modest adjustments. And I'm still doing it, even though I've got a lot of experience on the TRT. So I want to recommend, I don't care what age you guys are. If you're in your early 20s, get your testosterone checked. Why? Yeah. So you have a baseline. Jesse doesn't even know what his baseline is, right? You don't know. Your baseline, who knows what it is? Who knows? Right. And so now you get it checked. And if you're having symptoms, and one of the main symptoms, you hear all this erectile dysfunction. And yeah, that's a problem. That's probably low T. But you had a very subtle symptom. And that's the first one, I think, is you notice you're not changing anything. You're exercising the same. You're eating the same. And you're starting to get a little fatter. When you haven't changed anything, something has changed in your body. Something is off. And that could be an indication that your testosterone is low. Get it checked. It's not going to hurt you. Even if you don't need to go on TRT for 30 more years or 40 yeah. more years, you'll know what your baseline is. So if you're in your early 20s and your testosterone's 1,100, great. Because now when you get it checked, when you're starting to have symptoms, maybe when you're in your 50s and the doctor says, oh, your testosterone's great. It's 500. No, it's not, doc. Here's my baseline from 30 years ago. It's 1,100. <laughs> And yeah, that's true. 500 is not good because they always think, oh, that's phenomenal. And it is for a 50 year old because mo most 20 year olds are under that. But now you have a baseline. That's really important. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, yeah, kind of like we're saying, you know, now there's easy ways to do this stuff. You know, we all have, you know, time that's limited for the most part, if, especially if we're working and we have families and, you know, I have all of that too. And, you know, now it's easy, you know, you, you can get this stuff done relatively quick. You, you can still do it the right way. You don't have to cut any corners and definitely doctor recommended programs. I talk to people all day long and just by the way I look, not knowing that my test is low, obviously when I'm talking to them before, before this experience, but you know, they're like, how do I get big? How do I get strong? How do I do all this stuff that, you know, that they think that, that I am doing or am. And, you know, I, I do talk to them and let them know. And, and maybe they do bring up in that conversation, you know, do you take anything? You know, that's kind of like a, a gym thing, especially for guys that are trying to yoke up. And, you know, for me, it was always no. Um, but I was open to it, obviously. And especially as I aged, I had enough knowledge and education and, and some resources like you to be able to, you know, know what, what needed to change if, if, if it need be. And I've always told people, don't do it off of, don't just grab what you can, you know, don't do it yourself, get everything measured, you know, make sure you're done with the doctor on that level, you know, start there and, and monitor and make sure like Steve is saying that other things don't change that are going to affect you and, and, you know, hurt you in a different way while you're trying to fix one thing. I think that's a major mistake in the health game is, you know, basically, you know, the concession is one other thing gets worse and one other thing may get a little bit better. That's not the way to go. Try to make them all as good as you can with what you have. Yeah. And it's harder with the, you know, the food and the air and water and all that <laughs> stuff we talked about. And, you know, yeah. you're, we're talking about, is this is because people you're going to get accused or asked, are you on gear, you know, yeah. steroids, but and here's the deal. I heard, I heard an influencer, and I've said this on a few other of these videos that we do on TRT, and that is, no, it's not a steroid cycle. Uh, testosterone injections are not the same. It's a naturally occurring substance in the body, but you're bringing it in from the outside. It's exogenous. And so it's not a steroid cycle. You're not going to turn into Hercules. Yeah. But you're going to get leaner. You are enhanced. <laughs> and yeah. that's the word that I, you're enhanced. Sorry. You know, <laughs> even though now your testosterone is going to be in a normal level, you're going to be enhanced. Yeah. And your body's going to look different. You're yeah. going to get even bigger than you are now. You're going to get leaner because you're enhanced. Yeah. Are you on a steroid cycle? No. Are you enhanced? Yes. Am I enhanced? Yeah. And I'm just a skinny old guy, but I'm still <laughs> enhanced. You know, and 
there's nothing wrong with being enhanced because you're enhanced so that all your health markers are going to improve. You're going to be healthier. So yeah. that's just an interesting take on uh, you, you can't expect to turn into Hercules, but don't expect nothing either because you will benefit physically, emotionally in every way. And you also said, Jesse, that you felt um, not only with the, the body fat increasing, you said that you felt like when you stopped, because you're go, 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 go at the club and with your family and your kids and all that. Yeah. You, you said, I think you said that when you stopped and slowed down, you noticed a little bit of fatigue. Yeah. No, not even a, not even a little, man. Like sometimes on the weekends when I had a minute, which is, is rare, but I get them. Um, and I, and I started making this a habit, what I'm going to, what I'm going to tell you, um, when I felt like I was fatigued, I know enough about the body to say, okay, fair enough. I might have to move some stuff aside and give myself rest if I can. And so I fell into a habit of either Saturday or Sunday for hours, you know, after I would wake and, and that's after I would rest for, you know, six, seven, eight hours kind of between that, that line. And, um, which for me is pretty good for a normal day. Um, but I would just crash. And, and, you know, it would just happen. I, I, you could, you know, and, and my wife would sit there and watch me and, you know, just try to, you know, let me rest obviously and, and keep things away as much as possible. But, you know, that habit, I, I still felt like I was wasting time. I don't like to feel like that. I, I didn't like to have to lay down for hours and just take a nap. You know, I felt kind of like a, like I was an old person, you know, and I, and I was losing it a little bit and I kept thinking, damn, how am I? I mean, I know how much I use everything, my brain, my body all week long. And, and, you know, that's what I'm going to continue to do. That's not going to stop. And so I kind of started to fear what a, what a waste. Like I, I got to sit here and now like recover for a day, no matter how I feel I, in my mind, I got to lay down cause I literally can't physically move anymore. That's how I felt. Yeah. And sometimes sleep for hours, Steve, wake up, get some water, eat a little bit back to sleep. Like couldn't control it. Would you describe fatigue as sleepy, being sleepy? Yeah, that's how I felt. I, wow. and my whole body just, just, you know, not necessarily weak. Like I can always, you know, get up for something, but yeah, just tired, man. Like couldn't really control it. Like if I sat down and once my body got to any place that was comfortable, I'm sleeping. Like my eyes are turning off and that's obviously, that's a pretty big sign, right? You know? I'm not trying to plan that. That's not my, my, you know, body's clock for resting hours. And so, yeah, I started to take notice of that for sure too, with body fat. Again, I started to make reasons, you know, why that was okay. And, and even my wife's like, you work so hard, you, you know, you put in so many hours, you do all this stuff with us on top of that. It's probably just what you need and uh, fairly so. But again, that's not what I want to do. You know, I, I'm 37. I, I want to spend the rest of my life is the goal, but I for sure want to spend the next 10 years not doing that. You know, if, you know, I want to avoid that at all costs. I I'm, you know, super active entrepreneurial, you know, I'm trying to get things done. So that's not part of my life. Yeah. And you know, there, there, there are, you know, a positive side effects, I guess, you know, you and I were laughing a couple of days ago when we were talking, when I'm like, couldn't believe it was that low, you know, <laughs> We were laughing and joking and saying, yeah, you know, a, a, a side effect of you going on TRT is your wife's going to lose weight. Why is she going <laughs> to lose weight? Because you're going to be chasing her around the house, right? Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. You already warned her, right? <laughs> yeah, she's ready. She's she's like, man, I got the right shoes. We, You know, we always make sure we're ready to go. So, yeah, she's ready. She knows, too. So she has a degree in biochemistry. And so, you know, a lot of this stuff, not exactly in the health aspect for she she was trying, you know, to be more on this, you know, uh, forensics and, you know, stuff like that when she went through college. But she still, you know, studied biochemistry. So, you know, and, and graduated, you know, with degree and, and understands, you know, a lot of this stuff, even in some ways more than I do. Right. Um, and so so she kind of she knows that's a nice thing, too, with her. Because, man, she knows uh, even at times more than I do and can kind of keep me in a good place, you know. But, yeah, so she knows. She's like, shoot, it's going to shoot up. I know it, everything is going to change. You know, you're going to have habits that are going to just kind of be a lot different and, and a lot more aggressive. <laughs> and uh, 
she's uh, you've got her approval. So, yeah, um, if, if you guys have questions for either one of us, put them in the comment section. Uh, let us know your experience if you're on TRT and what's working for you, because everyone's different. And I'll always respond and tell you what what's going on with me. And, you know, it'd be great, Jesse, if we can keep talking about. Yeah, we'll, we're going to be doing this, you know, pretty much every week. And we'll talk about other topics like we have before in the past. But we'll talk about um, what's happening, yep. what's changing, how fast it's hitting you and just kind of relay your experience to uh, our listeners. Sound good? Yeah, I'm going to keep track of everything, um, meaning I'm even keeping track of my food in a log, just like I do with a lot of my my clients and people that I help get get healthier and, and do the right things for themselves. Um, yeah, I'm going to track anything I take for supplements, everything. And I'm going to do before pictures and I'm going to track my my workouts to a, to an extent, kind of a mix of what I do for resistance, what I do for cardio time and kind of intensity levels. And um, and I'm going to do that through this process and kind of see you know, what is the difference? You know, what really changes? And I think that's the best tracking, right? How you look, how you feel, you know, and, and of course, strength and, and maybe inches and body fat. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do, but look and feel and then tracking what you're fundamentally doing uh, for protocol. I think that's a good system. And so, yeah, I'm happy to share that stuff and, and, you know, help to show, hey, here's where my belly got, you know, fat thing that it became no matter what I did. And, you know, maybe it becomes something different and, and other things too. All right. So you guys have all the information for, um, Royal medical and that price that they give you is phenomenal. It includes your consultations, your medications and your blood work. That's insane. Yeah. So but I also recommend that you, you talk to some other clinics. If you do a search for TRT on, um, YouTube, especially you'll find a lot of hormone experts that have clinics that do the telemedicine and you're not, don't always just look at price. I mean, I wouldn't recommend Royal medical if I didn't like them and what they do. I do, yeah. but you got to decide for yourself. So check out some other clinics and get multiple opinions because you're going to get a lot of them when you start TRT and everyone's going to respond different. So if you have questions, put them in the comment section and we'll, uh, uh, Jesse, will come back and we'll talk more about this. Thanks for being with us, Jesse. Yeah, no problem.